Now as I press play, there you go, the head is a lot more rational there. There may be still a bit too much up and down there. If you check the image plane, you will find that there is a bit of up and down in there, in the head. But the head is, and that's because in general, as an audience, we tend to track the face of a person. So if the camera is panning, the character is running, and there's no falling down, and the head moves up and down too much, that's going to be pretty difficult to track the head motion. So in general, we tend to stabilize the head a lot more when running in animation that I know of anyway. That's my experience anyway. So I'm going to go and grab maybe the chest and I'm going to cheat with the chest. So, so as we go to the down pose, I'm going to counter stretch on the way up the head and chest just ever so slightly to reduce the downward motion and then down on the up. And this should have the effect of having still the hips go up and down while keeping the head a lot more stabilized. And then remember, again, we change the posing. So we go, we're going to copy and paste and just mirror, mirror, mirror. You see that now the head is a lot more stable on the way up and down, but you still have the feeling that the character is going up and down, but the head is a lot more stable. And if you have been careful not to overdo it, you will find out that now you will have the same amount of ups and downs in the body, but the head will have considerably less. It's easy to spot it if you watch it from the side view. So if I go and check the side view, you see that the hip moves up and down quite a lot in there, but the head doesn't really cover that much ground up and down. Not as much as the hip anyway. Quite a handy tool to still keep the feeling or the illusion of an up and down motion with the body, but do not have the head inherit all of that up and down. The risk of this technique, especially at the beginning, is that the character will act like a pigeon and the head will be super stabilized. So it will take a few tests before you get it right. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, just don't do it. Keep the ups and downs for now. And when you will be a little bit more experienced, you can try this. The animation you're looking at in here is in step. You wouldn't believe it, but it is actually in step. Look at that. Every key stays up for two frames. And yet when you press play, it works rather beautifully already. And it does so from practically every point of view.